Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. In this demo, you'll get an overview of various DevExpress ASP.NET controls and libraries that you can use when developing your website. First, let's go through the Visual Studio Toolbox. All DevExpress controls are located in categories with tags that start with DX and then the version number. Under Data and Analytics, you'll find controls for data editing, analysis, and visualization. The controls include a dashboard viewer, available if you own a license for the DevExpress dashboard, which is part of the DXperience Universal subscription. Data Grid, allows you to browse, analyze, filter, export, and edit data even when bound to several hundred thousand record data sources. The Chart Control supports several dozen view types, including two- and three-dimensional charts. Pivot Grid allows you to slice and dice data much like you can do in Microsoft Excel. The Grid Lookup Control allows you to quickly look up and select records from large data sets. The Tree List Control, which is optimized to display hierarchical data. A Gauge Control that provides multiple gauge styles and appearance presets. The Filter Control that helps you build filter criteria of any complexity. The Data View, a highly customizable data browsing control. News Control, a pre-customized data view that can be used to display news items. We'll look at a few of the export components later in this video. The remaining controls in this tab include a couple utility controls and DevExpress data sources. The next tab is Navigation and Layout, and here you'll find the following controls. Menu, Navigation Bar, Tree View, Page and Tab Controls, Pop-Up Window, Pop-Up Menu, Form Layout that helps you organize your data entry forms, a splitter, Dock Window Management Controls, and an image slider, plus a few other navigation container and callback manager controls. The next section is common controls, where you see a rich text editor, file manager control, file upload control, Rating control, calendar, captcha, media object container, and over 20 utility controls and data editors which can be used as either standalone controls or within container controls like the data grid. The scheduling section is where you'll find our scheduler controls together with all of the scheduling utility components. A lot of these controls are used in the scheduler controls integrated UI, but can also be used when building custom scheduling forms. The next section contains all the controls you'll need to display reports in your web application. You'll find the report viewer here, together with three helper controls that help you navigate the report displayed in the bound report. Now let's see how you can easily create a report and display it using these controls. To add a new report to your application, first invoke a new item dialog for your project. If you click the DevExpress item, you see a few report entries. The two you will commonly use are DXperience Report Class and DXperience Report Wizard. Let's now see what happens after you add a new DXperience report class to your project. First, you'll see the report designer. Here you can load a report template from the DevExpress Templates Gallery. A report template saves you time because it's already pre-designed and formatted. Of course, you can also create a report without a template. Once the template is loaded, you can review the report structure. You'll see that individual labels can be selected as ordinary controls, and you can access their properties and most frequently used actions. Notice a new tab on the toolbox. It lists the items that you can place onto the report's design surface. Starting with simpler controls like labels, checkboxes, and images, it goes on to more advanced items, including a rich editor, chart, and pivot grid controls. 
The latter two are actually rendered using the DevExpress chart and pivot grid controls that share their functionality with those we saw on the data and analytics tab in the beginning of this video. Returning back to the new item dialog, we can see there's also a DXperience scheduler report item allowing you to create reports. This report type allows additional element types that make scheduler reporting a much easier task. Let's take a look at the design time editor of a scheduler report demo. You'll see a new tab populated with different scheduler related items. Starting with bigger elements representing different scheduler view types, it goes further to include all utility elements required to build a printed calendar. Much like regular report controls, these items can be selected on the design service to access their settings and frequently used actions. Let's take a look at how this report looks in an online ASP.NET demo. You can navigate dates and look at the synchronized week and month views side by side. While reports allow full control over data layout and appearance, in many cases all you need to do is customize a grid or other data aware control and simply print it out or export to another file format for further analysis. Such WYSIWYG reporting and exporting can be easily accomplished with the exporter controls located in the Data and Analytics tab. Let's see how it works in the ASP.NET Data Grid demo. As you see in the ASPX code, we simply put a grid view exporter and specify its ID and bound grid's ID. Then all you need to do is call a single method to print out or export the grid's data in its current state, with grouping, filtering, sorting, and other data shaping aspects applied. Just a couple lines of code and end users can get their printed or exported version of data with a single button click. Now let's take a look at a great combination of controls, the pivot grid and chart controls. Much like in Microsoft Excel, you can bind them together and synchronize their data for display. Just specify the pivot grid as the data source for the chart. Once you've done this, end users can customize the pivot grid's view by filtering data, rearranging fields, and so on. All of the changes will be automatically reflected by the chart control. Now let's take a look at how DevExpress ASP.NET Data Editor controls integrate into data-aware container controls like the data grid and the tree list. All available editors are listed in the Common Controls tab. Let's select Text Box and drop it in next to the grid. Take a look at the Properties window to see properties like Mask Settings or Null Text Style. Now compare that to Grid Column Settings. Invoke the Columns dialog for the grid. Notice that in the Change To dropdown, you'll see all the column types corresponding to the editors we just saw on the toolbox. We'll keep the text column type as it corresponds to the text box editor we put onto the page. Now expand the Properties Text Edit property to find the same settings, including Mask Settings or Null Text Style. Therefore, the grid is using the exact same text box internally as a standalone text box control. This makes it easy for you to work with editors once and use the same API when handling standalone or embedded data editors. And last but not least, let's take a look at the DevExpress ASP.NET Control's client-side functionality. An important thing to remember about DevExpress ASP.NET Controls is that they expose client-side APIs so that you can change certain settings or execute actions without the need to reload the page entirely or partially. To use this functionality, you first need to specify a control's ID via the client instance name property so that you can access the control when writing the client script. If you need to handle events on the client side, pay attention to the client side events property. Individual events will invoke the event handler editor dialog where you can write your JavaScript code. Finally, you can click a control smart tag to access the client side event editor or access it via the properties pane as well. To see what properties and methods are available to you on the client side, click the client side API documentation link. The control will open the DevExpress online documentation website that contains comprehensive information on ASP.NET controls. And that's it. This completes a top level overview of the DevExpress controls and libraries available to you when building an ASP.NET application. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.